Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to Mare Tarot. This is going to be a general weekly love reading for the sign of Gemini. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. So please check out the other available videos on the channel so you get a clearer, more concise picture as what potentially could be happening for your love life in this week. So it could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind. So please use your own discernment and flip the roles to however this best resonates with your situation, but please do not make the story fit. So if the reading resonates or parts of the message resonate, then that's great. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message. So please take what you feel fits and just leave the rest, guys. So we're starting off the reading today with the Light Sears Tarot, and then we'll use the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot to clarify the Romance Angels, and lastly finish off the reading with the Soulmates and Separation Unspoken Love Messages. So Angels of Love and Light, be pleased with clear and concise messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What do they need to know in relation to love? for this week please and thank you so we're starting off the reading today with the eight of wands wow okay strong start here guys interesting so you have the two of pentacles in reverse we have the magician we have the two of swords we have the ace of wands wow okay so we have the star in reverse knight of wands in reverse the world interesting bottom of the deck we have the two of wands in reverse oh my goodness guys okay so you could be dealing with a fellow air sign you could be dealing with a fire sign an earth sign or potentially a water sign here okay we do have very strong taurus and libra energy here with the empress in reverse we do have um, aquarius with the star Gemini, Virgo and Scorpio with the Magician, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus and Scorpio here with the world. So um, let's get into this reading. Well the first thing I'm noticing like straight away guys, I don't know if you have noticed it as well, but we've got two of wands in reverse, two of pentacles in reverse and two of swords. Two, two, two. So you could be seeing those numbers or your person is. And I feel like this this kind of message is massively to do with balance. Um, we did just recently have the 22 to 2022 kind of gateway or portal happen recently. So I feel like there's been a massive influence to do with that. So I feel there's a lot of adjustments that are coming into play here. Um, it's pretty amazing because we have the magician and the world on the table, which is um, quite phenomenal, really. Um, what I'm feeling is that there is someone who has been on the fence for quite some time about your connection. They've been a little bit unsure about what decision to make, but I feel like their procrastination and indecisiveness is now coming to a close. This person has been um, a little bit up in the air with their life, you know, unbalanced, ungrounded, because they have a lot going on right now. And I feel like this person is just trying to get their act in gear. This person is absolutely coming forward towards you to have some sort of reconciliation or reunion or union with you if this is something that you are wanting. And expect a very passionate, very strong, um, assertive message from this person, you know, out of the blue to come forward towards you, um, to have um, this kind of reconnection between the two of you. You may have felt a little bit ignored by this person in the past especially if your person was juggling you and someone else or if they had options elsewhere um, and they had to make a difficult choice between you and someone else or if you were kind of involved with a third party situation or your person was potentially to do with a karmic partner or a karmic ex or someone that they may have had something long term with I feel like this person has made their mind up um, they couldn't make their mind up in the past, but I feel like they have made it up now and they want to come forward towards you. This person, if they do come into your life with this kind of knight of wands in reverse, it may just be a bit of a fly by night thing potentially because they have all this passion for you. Um, and I'm just getting this overall sense that I don't feel like you're going to necessarily be a rebound or anything like that from a previous situation with whatever's been going on with this person. I feel like they do want to come forward and they do want to choose you and they want to change their ways. But this person may have had commitment issues in the past or potentially had 
a tendency to be flaky or hot and cold or here, there and everywhere. And I feel like this person's actually trying to focus on healing that and they are getting motivated to change, but it has been relatively difficult for this person. I feel predominantly the reason why they were acting the way they were what they were in relation to um, if they were more accustomed to kind of short term relationships or casual relationships or hookups or what have you. I feel it's predominantly because this person didn't have very high self esteem of themselves. They may have lacked confidence in certain areas of their life so they kind of did whatever they could in the past to make themselves better about themselves so they kind of manifested that type of thing into their life but what I'm getting predominantly now is that kind of way of being and doing and having what they were having or doing or whatever in the past I feel like that's all coming to a complete close they want to renew themselves and they want to bring in something brand new with their life okay and interestingly to me as well you know we have 21 which is the world we have the magician which is the one okay and so you add 21 to the one and makes 22 so we've got another sense of like 22 here on the table so this this could be a master number this is potentially um this could be like a i'm getting a life path number for someone so that could be that could be something that resonates but i feel like this person has predominantly gone through a huge karmic cycle in their life and they are trying to close that so that they can move on forward with a connection with you and everything will kind of renew at the right time when it's ready to. But expect some sort of cheeky communication from this person out of the blue because it is going to happen. It is going to come forward towards you. But they were fearful of the unknown in the past of what your connection meant before. That's why they didn't push anything forward before because they were overwhelmed here. They were overwhelmed because they know that you were deserving of so much more here. With the Empress in Reverse and the Ten of Pentacles, this is predominantly what you may have been asking for from this person in the, in the past, wanting a long-term commitment, wanting to settle down, wanting to have a family, wanting to kind of um, get married, wanting to buy a house together or move in together or do something. And this person does see you as the future mother or father of their, ch uh, their children or they their future spouse or whoever, but this person most likely has been dealing with other kind of more casual relationships in the past with the Queen of Wands in reverse, Knight of Wands in reverse that may have been getting in the way from you and this person having this reunion or union. But they do love you, but they just never showed you the love that they had for you and um, potentially breadcrumbed, in you, breadcrumbed you in the past. But this person does have a lot of deep feelings for you. Strong Pisces energy here with the Moon and the Hangman sitting right by next to each, one, each other. This person's absolutely on the way back. They see your connection in a whole new light. And I feel like they actually want more with you, but they are lacking in confidence as of right now because you potentially stood your ground um, and set boundaries with this person. And so they're, they're now recognising that if they want to come forward towards you, they have to do it properly. And so now they may be struggling because um, they may be... They may be very used to other people potentially chasing them and because you're not chasing them anymore, the ball is very much in your court and this person knows that they have to kind of switch up their game plan um, and this is very alien to them so they're really having to try to contemplate how on earth they can now approach you. Um, so they're trying to be strategic but they have made the decision to come forward and they want to have more with you in this connection but... Um, I just feel like this person was most likely in denial about the depth of the feelings that they had for you. And it's interesting to me because um, we don't have really any cups here on the table. We do have water energy here, but no cups. So this person is either feeling um, emotionally overwhelmed or they're feeling um, completely emotionally void without you as of right now. Especially if they're dealing with a long-term karmic partner of sorts and they're stuck in a karmic cycle elsewhere. But this person sees that you and them could have it all together. They do have this depth and this love for you here with the King of Cups, but they just never showed it to you. And this person actually wants to kind of be the family woman, the family man, you know, have it all with you. And this could be relatively shocking um, that they want a proper commitment here with the Queen of Pentacles, that they see you in this light and you and them having it all because um, they may feel a little bit out of their depth but they are going to communicate with the eight of wands they are very fired up about you 
and I don't feel like this sense of just being infatuated with you either. I feel like there's this person's just very passionate. Um, but they they do have love for you as well. But they just haven't made it obviously obvious to you. Because these cards here of like what we don't see. So with showing the King of Cups of what we don't see is that this person is very much keeping it all hush hush in relation to their feelings when it comes to you. But the feelings that they do have for you are genuine and they are true. But they may just come forward towards you and show you this very strong, passionate side to them. Because they don't know what to do with themselves, basically. They're not sure how to kind of control that. So they're trying to work on it. They're trying to work on it. This person knows that um, there was an equalness in your connection. And so therefore now this person knows that if they want to do right by you, they have to make things equal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clarify the magician, the star in reverse, and also the world with the radiant rider weight. So let's get into this, uh, Gemini. This person absolutely wants a brand new chapter with you, though. They're very attracted to you. They want to make it work. Look at that, the hangman, Pisces energy. We're going to keep pulling a few more cards. This person sees your connection in a whole new light. We saw the hangman earlier next door to the moon, strong Pisces energy. Um... This person knows not to take action on your connection as of right now, so they're retreating. I feel like this person doesn't want to be left out in the cold. I'm getting also one-time thing for some reason, or a one-night thing. Like, this person doesn't just want a one-time thing, one-night thing with you. They want something more. Look at that, more Pisces energy with the moon. How crazy is that? I literally just said that because they were here together in this deck of what we don't see and now they've come out on the table next to each other. But now the moon here is in reverse. This person's making it obvious to you. They're making it well known to you that they want you and them to have something together. It's no secret. This person's going to take off the mask and say that they want something more with you. Or maybe you're doing this with someone else. See, look at that, King of Cups coming out on the tape. Look at that. We saw with the King of Cups as the only card here that the depth of the feelings, there's more Scorpio, more water energy. This is crazy because you know how I said there was literally either no feelings here evolve, this person feels emotionally, you know, void, or they feel overwhelmed with emotions. And then three water cards have come out and two of them are Pisces with the King of Wands. And then seeing the Eight of Wands, um, King of Wands, Eight of Wands, but potentially the King of Wands may come out later. But this person wants to offer you something. They want to come forward with something. This person's trying to find confidence with themselves. They're trying to push themselves forward. They're trying to get out of whatever they need to get out of to move on forward. What else here for? What else? Oh, gosh. Wow. Oh, my days. Guys. I can't make it up. Ace of Cups has now just come out. This person's trying to manifest new love to come into your life. With the Five of Cups in reverse. So that you and them can have a brand new beginning together. You can get closure from whatever happened in the past. You can heal the old wounds of the past. And move on forward. So that there's not the emotional unavailability. That you, you guys can be emotionally open and available with one another. Just keep the faith and know that things are kind of working out for you in your favour. This person wants new love with you. Look at that, Queen of Swords in reverse. Why has that come out? Maybe something shocking is going to happen. Or maybe Justice here with a third party situation. Wow. With a karmic partner or a karmic ex of sorts. Maybe someone who's trying to stir up a load of trouble in a third party situation. Maybe a legal implication here involved with potentially a baby mother or a baby daddy. Doesn't necessarily have to be. If someone didn't feel confident enough about the idea of pursuing new love, then I feel like someone is going to get this new found of confidence. And it's going to happen for them. They're going to be able to move on forward. They've had issues with their finances though, with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. To do with a separation of sorts here with the Two of Cups in reverse. Maybe someone's lost out a lot financially to do with a breakup, a separation, 
or a divorce or someone's moved on from someone or something and so therefore they're just trying to heal from that as of right now before coming into a union or reunion with you what else here for the magician please this person has this pure intentions for you or maybe you'll both want to show that you're pure intentions for one another and it's not just going to be a, a fly by night thing here with this kind of knight of wands in reverse because someone feels very stressed and anxious about that because you know the knight of wands is not necessarily relationship material <laughs> you know eight of swords someone's up in their head though they're stressed but they're getting out of their head with the two of swords in reverse we have it upright and now we have it in reverse Somebody is trying to get themselves ready to move on onto karma waters from an old situation that's not so serving them so that they can pursue new love here and then have balance and healing with the temperance but just need to be patient that things are working out when it's getting ready to work out. I feel like there's some sort of um, angelic guidance here potentially for this person to eventually move on and get the stability that they're needing to have a reunion or a union with someone here with potentially a very strong soulmate connection, past life connection. Maybe someone, you could be just going towards a Sagittarius or maybe Sagittarius is coming forward towards you. Somebody's just definitely having a tricky time of it right now, especially when it comes to their money. They're trying to become independent, but they may be struggling with that as of right now. That's why we have the imbalance with the finances. They could be dealing with someone who's very overbearing. Yeah, definitely to do with a long-term home of sorts here with the Ten of Pentacles. A family dynamic. Everything could look really great on the outside, but I really feel the sense of somebody wanting to move on from that. Yeah, they feel blocked as of right now with the Eight of Wands. There's, def there's definitely some sort of domestic disputes here some sort of arguments to do with the home um because somebody wants to come forward and express that they want this new chapter but they feel like they can't do it as of yet because they are stuck where they are what else yep yeah, but that's going to change in within the wheel of with the wheel of fortune and divine timing look at that destiny is going to come into play and that's not going to last too much longer this person's going to have victory and success and eventually break away free here um from another long-term situation that they may have been in with the queen of pentacles in reverse two of cups in reverse and then they're going to come forward and offer you long-term commitment here with the page of cups potentially even marriage with the, the the hierophant you could be dealing with the taurus this person's keeping tabs because they want to make sure that you and them could come together for a reunion what do we have here for the star in reverse please? thank you Somebody could feel relatively depressed as of right now because their life is exactly where they want it to be. So they don't have that full kind of pep in their step to come forward and to have this, like, offer this brand new beginning with you. Why is the star here? This is Aquarius energy. Why is the star here for Gemini? Thank you. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, money is a big deal for someone. Money is a big deal for someone. Look at that. Six of Pentacles as I say that. More money. Someone's been heartbroken and lost faith in another situation. They're hoping for a windfall of sorts or an inheritance. Maybe they're waiting on news to do with their finances. Waiting for movement forward to do with their financial status. With a new job, with a promotion, with a career change. Yeah, they've been heartbroken because they haven't received good news in the past. So they're hoping that things will turn around in their favour. Yeah, they've been very sad. Very sad by something because they were stuck in a toxic situation with someone. They could have been dealing with someone who was very overbearing, very controlling. There was power struggles to do with the dynamic, a lot of codependency. They could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Leo, potentially. But something has really been draining someone else financially. But they're eventually going to have what it is that they need. Look at that as I say that with Star. That's going to be healed. Someone wasn't hopeful that they're going to receive what they are going to receive. But they will do eventually because it's going to happen. Things are going to change around in someone's favour. Very much so. 
which is a, a relief to someone I'm getting, which is a relief to someone. What else here, please, for the star? And we got the world card here, so everything is kind of, you know, naturally very positive in this reading that things are going to change. You know, this card literally trumps all the other cards, so it's kind of like whatever is going on is all kind of temporary. I'm getting pain is temporary. So whatever pain there has been, it's been temporary. It will be um, short-lived. Yeah, look at that. Someone has had a lot of frustration here with the Five of Pentacles. You know, they've definitely been in lack. This is where this person has been with the Five of Pentacles. And they're hoping that they're going to receive some sort of move movement with an extra pentacle that they're needing to get to that six. You know, you add that up and that gets the six. So they're definitely waiting on something to do with that. They're hoping it's going to be the end of hard times. And I feel like it will be because we saw that star card coming out. Um, there's definitely someone around this person who's trying to manipulate a certain situation or stir trouble in someone's life here with the Queen of Wands in reverse. We saw that before as well. Definitely someone is... Um, seeking revenge or doing something your, your person may feel relatively lonely as of right now um they don't want to be lonely yeah look at that they want to come forward towards you but they feel like they can't with that ace of wands in reverse we've got ace of wands upright but everything's going to turn round. This is where this person was. They were stuck and they had obstacles in the way. They didn't have the green light to make the changes to come forward towards you. They felt like they were blocked by someone or something. You know, they didn't have the, the news that they were hoping for in a situation with the page of wands in reverse. The devil. Yeah, someone was definitely lying to them or causing confusion on purpose. Somebody really didn't feel... Wow, I'm getting, didn't even feel welcome in their own home here with the four of wands in reverse. They hated being where they were. They recognized that there was toxicity to do with the situation, but they were fearful of making changes in their life if they were to go forward and have a reunion or union with you here with the lovers, Gemini energy. This person's gonna come out of hiding and they're gonna come forward towards you even though how hurt they've been in another situation. They will eventually gather up the courage and confidence to come forward and express what they've been through. But for now, they're keeping tabs on you here with the Page of Swords. So they're hoping you're going to be patient with them as they're feeling a very um, emotionally all over the place right now. They could be dealing with people who are trying to cling on to them. Two of Swords in reverse. What else with that, please? King of Swords. Yeah, this person's found out the truth. They've potentially got a lawyer involved or someone. You could be dealing with a fellow um, air sign here who potentially may be um, helping you out. Someone who could be a, a family friend or a work colleague or someone who's going to help you get unstuck from something and help you make a decision. So you come out of hiding here with the Hermit Virgo energy. So that you don't miss out on an opportunity to have a new beginning. Someone's going to help you read through the, sm the small print. So you can get your money together here with the King of Pentacles. Or maybe this is what your person is doing. Because they have the love for you. Wow, guys. King of Cups, Queen of... King of Cups, sorry. King of Pentacles. And the King of Swords. There are definitely friends here helping one another to move someone forward. I feel like your person or yourself you both have a lot of love for one another i feel very strong same-sex connection here guys with the king of pentacles king of cups um it's interesting because someone's definitely helping in the now and you see how these two kings are kind of looking forward to the future you're both concentrating on the now getting through what you need to get through gaining clarity working on yourselves to then move on forward and look into the future with a very strong, solid foundation, but also with love as well. Wow, that's a strong message. That's a strong message, guys. I'm going to look now into this world card. I'm going to look into this world card now. Someone is very much more in their headspace rather than their heart space, even though that they do feel it and they want you to know that they want a, a proper commitment with you here. 
and they want to kind of you know tie it down with you because they do love you but they know that they didn't show that in the past but they're gonna tell you the truth of it now with the ace of swords they will tell you they will speak their truth they felt like they couldn't speak up before but now they can they're gonna tell you everything the rosy glow of whatever they were dealing with in the past isn't so rosy anymore with the ten of pentacles in reverse they're going to tell you exactly what it is. They may be very blunt about it, but I feel like this person's been very much in distress. Look at that. Empress energy. Taurus Libra here with the Empress and the King of Pentacles. Beautiful. Yeah. This person sees you as their Empress. This person wants to work on themselves to come forward towards you and be the Emperor to your Empress or vice versa. You know, we saw the King of Swords, the King of Cups... The King of Pentacles, and I accidentally said the King of Wands earlier as well, so we haven't seen it as of yet, but the Four Kings is the Emperor. So this person is trying to get their way to Emperor status. They're not quite there as of yet, but they know who you are. They recognise who you are, and they're on the way to you. But I feel like this person knows that you're not going to settle for anything less and that you want a long-term commitment with this person. They will most likely travel to come forward towards you. If there have been restrictions on travel or difficulties with travel, this person is going to do whatever they can to come forward towards you. I feel like because you have so much self-love for yourself, blessings and blessings are coming forward towards you and you're going to get the stability that you're asking for here with the Ten of Pentacles. Because this is what... This person, your love interest, knows that you want from them. But they know that this is what you want in general because you are deserving of it. So they are working day and night to make sure that you and them could have this together. Potentially you may be um, a bit of a workaholic yourself as of right now. You're very kind of in tune with your work. You know, because you're trying to bring in your own abundance for yourself, your own stability, your own kind of... Um, fulfillment but I feel like you're doing very well for yourself or you will be very very soon I mean this is incredible guys um, absolutely what else here for the world for Gemini please you potentially could be the divine feminine as well if this is something that resonates if you're dealing with a twin flame here nine of swords You've, you don't get to being the empress and getting the world card without going through a sleepless night or two or get to the ten of pentacles you've gone through the mill here but you've taken time to balance yourself heal you you've been patient with this journey with yourself and i feel like you're getting congratulated here with this kind of angelic guidance with this temperance card um and all things good are coming forward towards you if you have a social platform, a social media platform or something, I feel like you're going to do very well soon. Like you're going to be in the public eye or something's going to happen for you. Yeah, you've gone through the dark night of the soul. You've gone through spiritual awakening. You've gone through the ascensions, you know. Yeah, and now love is coming in for you when you may have not thought that love was going to come in for you. It's going to come in for you. It is. Very quickly as well with the Knight of Swords. This person is going to travel to, to you here and they want to start a new beginning with you. This person is going to want a deeper commitment. I wouldn't be surprised if this person was kind of just, you know, out the blue to say, look, you know, will you marry me type thing. Yeah, look at that. Wow, they're being guided here with judgment to reconcile with you. They... Feel and know and recognise the importance that you have in their life and they're making the changes that they need to to have something more with you. This person's hoping you'll forgive them for them, I'm getting, taking their time. <laughs> Potentially in a third party situation that they've been dealing with with the Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, but they're going to come clean and tell you everything with the Seven of Swords in reverse and that they actually feel this deep kind of past life connection with you here with the Six of Cups. They have fond memories of you and they haven't been able to think of anything else. I just looked at the timer over here because I've got a timer and um, it said one, two, three, four on the clock, which is a huge number, guys. So I would definitely go forward and kind of look that up. But this person's going to tell you everything so that you can reconcile and heal together. OK, 
They know that you're the special person that's potentially been waiting in the wings for them, you know, actively waiting. And they just have so much love and respect for you. They know that they haven't shown it and they could have been relatively immature in the past, but I feel like they are really trying to change and work on themselves. But other people could be feeling relatively jealous of the connection that you have with one another. But also if you are, you know, attracting other people in your life who are also very interested in going out with you or dating you or what have you because they know that other people are interested, this could be stressing them out right now because um, they feel the depth of this connection with you and they know other people, of course, are going to be interested who are going to want to date you and take you out. Okay. Yeah. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So this person wasn't able to move on in the past with the home situation of sorts um, because of codependency. That's what they were stuck with. They felt like it wasn't safe for them to move on. But they are getting over that now. Look at that as I say that separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. They're getting out of that. They're separating themselves from the codependency of another situation. So let's get into the romance angels to close off this beautiful reading. They will express their love to you. Um, so if you are enjoying this reading, please like, share and subscribe. Leave us a comment. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, if you do subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when I post another video for you all. If you are enjoying this reading, please um, hit that like button as it makes a massive difference with the channel. And it really does help get the messages out there to people who may need to see them at this time. So thank you so much. Everything you need to know about myself and the channel is in the description box below. And if you did fancy supporting myself and the channel, then there is a donation link now available. So thank you so much to those who have already donated and thank you to those who are thinking of donating. I'm very grateful for you all. So thank you, thank you and thank you. So let's get into this. This person knows that they have to do a slow build with you from a friendship to kind of build on the trust with one another, especially if there has been difficulties or trust issues in the past. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, this person just wants it to be you and them. But um, I saw the forgiveness and learning card at the bottom of the deck. So I'm also getting that this person will want your forgiveness um, if they retreated away from you. <coughs> Um, purposely I'm getting because they were dealing with another situation or they weren't fully able to give to you in the past um, they're hoping that you both can forgive one another for whatever happened before and kind of move on from there their feelings for you are real look at that romantic feelings are real and worth exploring well we know that they're real because we saw with the king of cups earlier a couple of times wanting to come out that this person has the love and the feelings for you and they want it to just be you and them to kind of get away with one another free yourself it's time to take back control of your life yeah this person's definitely freeing themselves separating from themselves from whatever isn't serving them so that you and them could have the brand new beginning flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others well we've got plenty of that here on the table with the eight of wands and the ace of wands you know, this person is going to be very playful. Oh my gosh, as I say that, I didn't even see that, guys. <laughs> I swear I didn't see that. Um, yeah, they're going to be very playful here, guys, with you when they come forward towards you. Um, you know, if, if it's something that you're wanting, then potentially, you know, children could be a huge factor in your connection. Especially with this Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, like... You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you were to potentially conceive if this is something that you're interested in. Obviously, um, take what you feel resonates and leave the rest. But this person most likely wants children with you. Um, and if like you're not, in if you, don't, you know, you have children or if your person has children, you blend families, that type of thing or to adopt or to, you know, uh, foster or something. I feel like there's definitely a sense of potential um, pregnancy here or the aspect of having children with one another um, stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance well we saw that when we got the wheel of fortune now do i take those no i'm not going to take those i'll take one more please for a gemini thank you it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all yeah this person wants you to feel like it's safe to love them. And it is safe for you both to love one another. There may have been difficulties in the past or crosswise, I'm getting. 
but I feel like you'll kind of get over what you need to get over um, to be able to come forward together and have a union or reunion or reconciliation. This person's learning to love themselves first, to have the self-esteem in themselves, to change their life, to have control of their life, to separate from what's not serving them. Look at that. Because they are deserving of love. They know that you are deserving of love. And when you've been away in separation, um, all this person can contemplate is the idea of you and them coming together and, and making more of it. So let's look at the soulmates in separation, unspoken love messages, and see what we can get to kind of close off the reading for you all. So um, this is what your person would like to say to you or what you would like to say to them. Obviously, uh, just take it and flip it around as we do have cross watches here, guys. OK, you are very welcome to be here, obviously, guys. Um, so this could be if you've had very little communication with one another, no communication or if you are in contact, but it's a little bit kind of here, there and everywhere, a little bit sporadic, then this is what wants to be said. OK, that isn't being said to you so let's get into this gemini judgment i'm making the decision once and for all to turn this around well they are sorting themselves out and we know that because we've got the judgment card here on the table you know we've got judgment here so they are going to make it right they are going to do right by you wow oh my gosh guys I'm feeling emotionally void without you. Well, we said that earlier in the reading that this person was either overly emotional or they have no emotions whatsoever. And then we got clarity early, um, earlier on, didn't we, about that. I regret my past mistakes and I wish I can have another chance with you. <coughs> what else here, please, for Gemini? I have not given up on you, even though it may seem like it. You just would not understand what I'm going through. Most days I don't even understand. So yeah, I feel like there's been a lot of confusion in this person's life. Shame on me. I put others before you soon after I realised they were of no value to me. Yeah. My pride and ego led us astray. Interesting, guys. Each day I think about how it would be like if we were together. One day I'll be ready to surrender. So yeah, they will be coming forward towards you. And nobody is like you. You are exceptional. You are special. Well, we know that because that Empress card coming out like it did. OK, just clarify the world. So you are incredibly special to this person, especially in their eyes. And they want to do right by you. Um, but they've been through a lot. And maybe they can't even tr get their words out to even explain, to contemplate what they've been through, to even communicate with you yet. So they're probably just trying to get it right in their head first before coming forward. Um you know, it's not to say it's to try to kind of, you know, belittle you in any way by saying, well, you just wouldn't understand. And it coming from a place of ego, I feel like predominantly that this person's just like, look, you know, I'm just trying to get to grips with it myself first, let alone before telling you. But I feel like predominantly this person did have issues with um, their pride, their ego, um, arrogance, potentially uh, selfishness. That could be something. If not that, then just negative mindset, um, potential mental health issues could be something. Um, but I'm also getting they've been dealing with other people around them who've been very selfish too. So it could be all sorts of things. So I'm getting temptation and lust is potentially another thing as well. So that's they're all kind of they're just whatever resonates here, guys. OK, so um, as this is the end of the reading, please take what you feel resonates and just leave the rest. So I hope that the reading resonated or parts of it did, the whole reading. Um, let us know in the comments down below. I'd love to get your feedback. Um, I will eventually get back to you guys. I'm hoping to reply back to comments this weekend. I've just had a lot on my plate. But um, I hope you have a wonderful week or the, enjoy the rest of February and we'll see you very soon. So please take care. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.